It's okay, Paul, I don't need a method. I just go on instinct. I just let it rip and I'm good at it. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is a spoiler alert or not, but I'm about to explain to you why that is a, you know, large, steamy pile <laughs> of logic. <laughs> there is this notion of potential success that is a triangle. It's called the Luck Talent Drive Triangle. Now, you may or may not know about this, but I'm going to break it down very, very simply. A famous uh, international ballet star, the first male international ballet star in the world, actually, in the 60s, his name was Rudolf Nureyev. And he was asked by someone, how do you become successful? And he said in his broken English, well, he was actually better at French. He ended up living the majority of his life in France, in Paris. He said, all you really need is luck, talent, and drive. And if you have any two of those, you may be successful. Now let's examine what it means to actually have talent but no drive. You're relying on luck. If you have talent, no drive, but you have luck, that could work. What about drive but no talent? And you rely on luck. Well, drive, having being determined, showing up on a regular basis, and having a little bit of luck may actually provide what is necessary. That success that can, you know, push you over the top and move you there. But let's take a look at having talent that you hone and the determination to do it on a regular basis. Then you don't need the luck. And because you can't expect or plan for luck, if some magically falls in your lap, then you will have talent and drive and luck. That's the, you know, perfect winning trifecta. Now, my disaster scenarios are when someone has no talent, no drive, and they are just hoping and relying that luck will magically shine upon them. But either way, I hope I have explained to you, in all three of those scenarios, the two that rely on luck, which may or may not show up, are not worth actually waking up and doing this stuff on a regular basis. Hoping and praying that luck will show up. Because we can't actually manifest luck. We can manifest lots of things, but luck's not one of them. Now... My way, my alternative way of embracing what's required is to focus on honing the skills and learning how to do those content delivery systems on a regular basis with the skills that you honed. That's why all of the people who just go on instinct will never be able to actually know what it is that they're doing that they're doing right because they haven't focused on method. Method is what allows you to be able to examine what you're doing. Now, on back-end systems, in anything, you can actually look at the statistics and examine because there is a structure involved. And with these esoteric presentation skills, what's required is to actually codify a method of building and developing this stuff so that you can also actually examine it. Then you can take the data of what you're doing and you can improve consistently, continually, for your growth, and for your success. I hope this makes sense. Go get them! <laughs>